Sarah from Hotgen with Ion School M5 19 Chemistry Project 2016. Today we will tell you why we have to look away while we thinking. And may I introduce myself and my group members. My name is Yo. This is EQ, Proudney and Mangon. And today we have a video for you. Let's enjoy. My name is CQ. My name is Malcon. I'm Pablo. Have you ever wondered why we have to look away? Or even close our eyes when we are trying to think? Today, we can explain this for you. We are gonna tell you why we have to look our eyes while thinking. And the subtopics are brain link, experiments, and concentration. Brain link is responsible for collecting information, and a huge part of it involves memories and vision. Some people believe that the areas are tied to one another. That's why coding memories have a huge impact on the avoid the distractions around us and in order to like um, to think more smoothly and clearly. A psychologist named Paul Bergen proposed that different kind of thinking can like trigger our eyes. He also suggests that our right brain control our left eye and our left hemisphere of the brain control our right eye. So that's why when For example, if we are trying to solve the geometry problem, our right brain is in use, so we may look to our left. And if we are trying to like, think of the English words, our left brain is in use, so we may look to our right. In addition, there is a research which states that um, the fast eye movement back and forth can help like recalling memories and healing some stress disorders. The first test was in early 1936, conducted by two scientists, Richard, Richard Wilder and John Grinder. They did the experiment on the relationship between the eyes, the brain, and its cognitive process. A year later, Robert Dill conducted another experiment. Hi, I'm Robert Delt. I use the electrode to, to check the eye and the brain that were asked with vision, smell, memory, and mental construction required question. So, let's see how my theory works. Up left is, remain, is, is mean, remember imaginary. Upright is mean construction imaginary and fantasy initial. The true left is mean remember sound and words. The true right is mean construction sound and words. Down left is mean internal dialogue and inner self talk. Down right is mean fearing. Today we have special guests that we tested on. Hi. 
May I ask you some questions? Yeah. <laughs> How to spell photograph? P-H-O-T-O-G-R-A-P-H Okay, I want you to imagine the SSP. Imagine a town and inside it yes, there is a slum. And at the side of the street in the slum, there's a little girl sitting and crying. 86 plus 289 254 plus 78 232 Hey, concentration. The second theory claims that in order for people to avoid distractions, they tend to look away. And this theory is tested as well. If without the ability of the subjects to look away, they have a harder time answering questions. Others claim that the area responsible for the vision, the occipital, takes up a whole lot of space in the brain. So that's why we need to look away when we think. So we need to find out the other senses, such as eyes, ears, or smell. By temporarily lowering all of these processes, we can let our brain use up more space for thinking and answering questions. To conclude, our brain is an information collection, and of course, much of it is linked to the eye recollection. In some ways, eyes and brain are linked. There are also ex experiments showing that the movement of our eyes do mean something. The main reason why we have to look away or sometimes close our eyes to think is because we need to ignore the distraction in order to think clearly. Don't forget to hit that